All right, this will be, uh, oh shit, realize that it sucks. All right, well, th this will be our lovely attempt at some casting. Yay. Phil's gonna come in here and <laughs> all. Thank you, appreciate that. Um, no, <laughs> guest appearance. Guest appearance. I was gonna ask if you were doing that. Team. Sorry, bye, okay, I'm just gonna play now. <laughs> bye. Guest appearance by the, the other team player. Um, so this will be our after hours game. We ran two successful games for today, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna be joined by Frey, who's gonna help me not be bored and if I stop talking to myself, so I don't feel as awkward. Um, yeah. Yeah. Looking at the bands right now, pretty standard yeah. across the board. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Um, no one knows anybody at all, so pretty untargeted bands. Pretty cool. Uh, I think what they first pick Jax. Am I correct? Yes. Yes, they first pick Jax, and then they first pick Leona. Leona Nasus. Not sure how well Ness is gonna do against Mr. Jax, but we will have to see. Have to see. Uh, we have Rise and Mr. Maokai, the tree man, tree beard, as I like to call him. He, uh, Rise, Rise tree is pretty good combo. Um, like, hey, bro, here's a free, uh, here's a free W. I'm gonna snare you at me standing. Maokai's gonna fly on in, waving his hands back and forth, and then you're rooted for a very long time. Uh, ooh, and with Ash, maybe too. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of CC. Holy shit, blue team's scary right now. Not sure if I'm really digging on Purple Tide. Not sure if I'm digging that team comp right now. This, this feels like Nasus has no place there. But that's okay. We all love Nasus. I, I suspect Tremor has a hand in the picks on blue team. I did give him the least experience of the players trying to balance out the teams. And I think he's telling people to pick certain champions just so there is enough CC on their team. Gotcha. Gotcha. Tremor OP. He's got a good brain on him. I like that. Yeah, he's very outspoken. It's very good. He'll teach them a lot. Oh, Lulu, that's multi -pass, right? Yeah. That Lulu. He encourages the Lulu pick. I know. I'm not sure if I really dig Lulu Ash, but I mean the amount of CC kind of I think like makes up for the awkward lane combo. So I don't think it's really gonna matter a whole lot. Yeah, I think Lulu will do a good job protecting the Ash, although I'm quite unsure about this ignite on Ash. I feel like cleanse would be a lot more beneficial, even a heal. Yeah. I always have to say cleanse with the amount of CC on purple side team. I mean <laughs> you're gonna have a you're gonna have a hard time when Nasus walks in there and fucking Gives you the W. Uh, wither, yeah. Yeah. Wither? Oh my god, Wither. Definitely, wither. definitely. Wither well, you cry. Even so, like, uh, they have that Leona, and Leona is just a stun bot. <laughs> Not sure why she has a heal, because uh, exhaust would be so much better, but. Yeah. She might switch. Um, but. Oh, Cezil is dropping the leaf in. Plane is main. What a guy. Oh, he's going, he's going try hard. Yeah, he, hard. he wants to win because we stomped him that other game. He's got blood in his eyes. You can tell. Well, you really can't tell. He's a blind monk, but. <laughs> I, I actually told my team to ban out Lee Sin knowing that that is one of his mains. <laughs> I'm so cruel. You're a jerk. Hit information. You're just like Dyrus right now, giving away all the info. I, I guess, although I'm a lot more energetic than Dyrus will ever be in his entire life. Um, okay. Did you see that video when he got that pentakill on Jace? And he just kind of sat there, and everyone was like, PENTA! And he was just like, uh -huh. <laughs> And then he went on Osu, which is like that music game, yeah. and he like played this Mario thing, he was like, dun 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 <laughs> And then that was the end of it. And I was like, oh, you're odd. <laughs> Love you, Dyrus. He's so odd. He's got a hot Asian girlfriend, so it's worse. He does not have a girlfriend? He does. He has a hot Asian girlfriend, so it's worse. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, in Hawaii? No. She lives in, she lives in like, Cali. What? So. They met, like, at, oh, like, cute. Scale 5 last year. Yeah, last year, apparently. Oh, okay. So this is recent. I'm like, man. It's news to me. Oh man. I know all the, I know all the 411, I know all the lead gossip. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, uh, I was surprised when I found out um, that Odd One got a girlfriend, and she's a high, yeah. she's an Aussie. I know, dude. Oh my god. 
Alright, what's, what, what's her name? Lamel? Lamel. That's about League Girlfriends, though. Let's get, get back into the game. Let's get our game faces on. <laughs> Alright, um... So what do, you, what do you think? Who do you think has a better level 1 right now? I, I feel like Blue Team does, but I doubt Mom Kai's gonna start really to start with Snare. But also at the same time, Purple Side, though, I means they got Leona, Nath is gonna get Wither, Panther's gonna get stunned. I just I know that Seasonal doesn't really like, a, like to invade a whole lot, so... If any Axe is really gonna come out, it'll be a Blue Side team, I feel like. Even though he loves playing like Lee Sin and really good like ganky and junglers, but he hates invading level one. Which I mean is fine. You know, it's good to have a safe start. It's better to not invade than, and then, you know, play it safe, but I go ham, man. Well, um where does Carrot usually start in the jungle? Does he start at blue or red? Okay. It, like, it, it, but if, if it's a slower jungler, though, he'll start blue. He'll get a, a, a no smite pull at blue, and then then go take take the red. And Malka kind of slow, kind of a slow jungler, not super slow, but enough to where I think he could definitely mm -hmm. get it in time. Um, but he has to get a really good pull though. And they're purple sides. I mean, that does. He does have bot lane that kind of pinch in too, which is kind of nice if they push up. And they also do have Caitlyn. I mean, so Caitlyn can push a lane like a, a motherfucker, and then be able to help me help collapse, but. I don't know. It'd be really gutsy if he does do it, but I feel like he might just, due to the nature of you know Charm being top and Jax being kind of weaker, that one through six range, he'll probably just get red and go gank top. That's probably his safest bet. I think that's what's going to happen. I believe that they're going to do whatever it takes and just camp the fuck out of Tremor. Yeah. Excuse my language. Jeez, what a fucking swear. <laughs> Good job, um, but I mean, <laughs> we're just we're tired out from those previous games and all that moderating, and then you pulled the jump on me with like, oh, I had to actually make a game. Oh gosh, but no, I think I think you're right. I think blue team will definitely be the one to act upon whatever goes on in the game. I mean, Tremor is definitely going to make that call, that decision to whether or not they're going to invade or not. Um, he does know that Maokai is slow, he may not be as experienced at Maokai, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not um, sure what that plays either. So they may just play defensively and ensure that, uh, the bottom jungle is warded so that we cannot take the red. I don't think they have much to worry about, but we'll see. No, he would have Mighty Jack too. <laughs> oh, that skin. <laughs> well, blue team definitely has better initiation overall. The Maokai snare, the Ash stun, the Rice snare, and the Jax just jumping in. You know, they have what, Leona? They have Pantheon, and then that's about it, really. And then Lee Sin to so, a secondary so I initiate. I like the one this, this game is going to entirely revolve around how well um, Blue Optus can pay, play Caitlyn. Because uh, I mean, he's going to have a lot of range, and he's like he and he's got a, a lot of... First, his entire team is a front line for him. Um, so, I, yes. it's really going to boil down to... I mean, can they keep Jax out Caitlyn? If the answer is yes, they're fine. Because... Kalen really is going to be able to outrange Rise. is going to be able to outrange, you know, uh, Ash. Um, as long as he plays at his max range, he should never have an issue. But um, they also may realize that, and they might try to just only initiate if they can catch Kalen with, with, with like a good Ash arrow or you know a good Flash Maokai, you know, uh, Twisted Advance. So uh, it's it's really honestly, though I think Bluetooth is a lot stronger. Uh, I can still see, as long as Caitlyn plays well, that they have a great chance of winning, too. I mean, who do you think here is going to take the leadership of the purple team? Do you think it's going to be, uh, Zul's? It'll be Zul's, definitely. Um, he's very outspoken. Um, he, he definitely at first had a hard time kind of really, you know, speaking his mind, but, uh, he's definitely evolved a lot better since, like, last season I was playing with him a lot. Um, where he's very very quiet to himself. Um, so he's he definitely he's he he knows what he's doing now. Um, he definitely uh, is, isn't at the. It's nice to not see him 
be in like bronze anymore. He's he got the gold um, by kind of getting that that better mindset. So I'm pretty excited to see what he he pulls off here. I see. So Ping's going down by Baron in the river. Yep. I feel like either they know. Looks like they want to move in. Yeah. They have to, oh, they're actually gonna invade. Oh my God! Is Caesar's gonna go ham for once? I'm excited. Okay. No. Uh, looking at the items, there's what. Two flasks on blue side, a whole shit ton of pots yeah, pot on both sides. Fort pot on Pantheon. That's interesting. Yeah. You want to go for the first blood, man. Oh, and the catches it out. They only see Nasus though. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, do you have all chat open? I don't. Wait, no, I do. Yeah. Oh man, just. Tremor with the typical good luck have Draven statement oh, at the shit. beginning of each game. Uh, oh, is the wither? Oh, oh here it comes. Wither closing in. Body is ready. Did he get the Q? Oh, he's so far away. Oh my god, no one was there to help him. Well, this is actually kind of too bad. Let's put Maokai behind a little bit. Uh, Maokai definitely can farm okay still without having blue, but it's definitely not feel a spam as much. But he actually kind of still clears better with red. Um, it's it's good, but sometimes it's kind of eh. Cause also bot lane is still there, so that means that blue team's bot lane is going to get ahead a little bit. Um, now what about Yeah, well it looks like bot lane... Bot lane is coming up to try and help Maokai fin finish his red quickly. I feel like it'd been really good if they, if they, if they said send Caitlyn Leona top, which I think they might actually do. Oh, okay. Oh, oh shit! I called it! Kobe! The 2v1 strat? Oh, better hurry up. So, uh, I... I actually do not have much experience top lane, so uh, how does Jax do against a 2v1? He can do okay. Um, uh, what I guess he's probably gonna do is, but you need to do it anyway. He probably max his W first. Um, it'll pretty much allow him just to really left that tower without even having to try. Um, this is really smart by Purple Team. Um, they're, they're trying to let it so uh, Jax can't really get a, get as free of a lane because he, he should be able to stop Nathus, uh hands down. Uh, but Nasus actually could 2v1 very, very well. A lot better than Jax can, in my opinion. Uh, but the beauty of what Jax has is it's really hard to tower dive Jax, though. Just to the fact that he has the AoE stun, he has the leaf strike. So, their best of it right now, Leona's not playing this right. If Leona was smart, she'd be standing in the bush, kind of uh, a Jax side bush. But what she's saying back in there is you really can't force him out. She's pretty much letting Caitlyn do all the work, and that's not the point. It's it it definitely looks like bottom lane is taking advantage of this 2v1 a lot more yep. than top is. Lulu being a little more aggressive. Oh, Ryze is getting bashed on. Oh, oh, wow. Oof. I totally missed that kill. <laughs> I have to go back a second to watch that. So, okay, what's happened here? First blood goes to Pantheon mid, okay. who is already 10 CS ahead of Ryze. Oh, Leeson with the gank bottom. They're closing in on Lulu. Oh, will they chase? Flash on oh, Folly! And Ash does not catch up to Lee Sin. Oh my god! <laughs> that was so close on both parts, holy crap. Oh man. Oh, yeah, I caught before what happened with the, uh, with the Jarvan. Uh, with the Jarvan, I mean with the Pantheon. Uh, Rise went up with... Pantheon hit 3 before Rise hit 3, so he's level 2. Um, so Pantheon got his second Q in. Uh, and he literally just walked up, Q, W, and Ignite Q, uh, for Rise, and that was pretty good for him. So. Yep. It looked like the initial burst of the Ignite actually killed him along with the spear. Unfortunately, Pantheon kind of threw out Flash, but probably didn't need to, but that's alright. Oh, it looks like Leona misses her E on Jax. Yeah, Leona really needs to walk up to him right now and just make him walk away. She's really not doing a good job to be uh, doing one. And it's fine, not really knows how to do that. It's, it's hard to, it's a very different style of play. Um, oh, looks like an even trade mid. Oh, uh, wow. Ryze is going to kill Pantheon in return. That's actually very good for Ryze because Pantheon's going to lose a lot of CS right here. Well, it looks like uh, Zul's is going to cover mid. Right now looking at that. Well, overall, looks like 
like uh, Jax is actually benefiting way more than this Nasus is. Maokai will be way top right now. They're probably gonna try to go on Caitlyn here. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, I did that switch to okay, this is the targets right now. They get the cleanse though, and a flash, so that's all pretty much all the summoners that the BMS oh wow, actually yeah, that's four summoners for none. Uh for that's a really good trade. That was amazing. That was really good. Well, looking at the AD CSing, it looks like Ash is actually behind Caitlyn in CS. Yeah, so I feel like it's kind of even. I mean, and it's, it's probably why I think it's only really the first blood gold right now that's putting purple side ahead. So, um, I feel like honestly for both lanes that it's kind of it's hard to really say. I feel like Nasus should be able to do okay though, as long as he cannot miss any CS here. I almost wish Maokai would have circled back top because he blew all of their summoners. Yeah, that's like a free land, like a free right to that free gank. Though it's kind of hard to gank a Leona though, especially you uh, uh, on. Uh, it aggressive. is. Oh, Tremor going in, trying to go ham. Oh, ooh. oh, Tremor with the kill. I feel like if. And Leona got the kill. Yeah, Kaelin could probably just walk backwards and been okay, but. Yeah, she also didn't roll a pot. Yeah, oof. Oh, Maokai! Oh, with God. the... the gink! Oh God, is it enough? Oh! <laughs> oh! oh. oh. Rise got, got greedy! The bottom gank! Oh, so close again! <laughs> oh. I, can just, I can just feel the frustration right now. Like, oh, that's so close. Oof. Ooh, okay. Oh, she ignited. It's not bad. It'll force him out. He'll miss a lot of CS, actually. Oh, Pantheon jumping bottom, though. Pantheon jumping. Oh. Oh, is he gonna see Lulu, though? Oh, God, Lulu, run. Lulu, run. Oh, he's not. Oh, no. Lulu, <laughs> 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 Lulu, Lulu, get down. Lulu, that's multi-pass. Oh, my God. And right as Ryze gets back to lane, he'll probably push it out, knowing that Pantheon's bottom and going back to base. Terrible choice. I mean, Ryze could really use it to stack his tier, but also you, you don't want to take a buff that you're not confident you can keep, so... Um, and Pantheon is doing pretty good. He got a Brutalizer already at 8 minutes. That's painful. He got a Red Pot that he hasn't used yet, so... He could probably 3-shot Ryze right now. Look at itemization. Uh, Jax has his Vampiric Scepter already. It'll let him um, sustain in lane a little bit longer against the Caitlyn poke. The Caitlyn opted for a second Doran's, so that'll put her behind in her itemization. Yeah, should be able to tank Jax a little better though, so it's not the worst choice in the world, but unfortunately, they're literally, uh, even though they get 2 one switch right now, Tremor is still almost 20 CS, 18 CS ahead of, of uh, Nas right now, and has the kill. Um, so, uh, man, I really hope they can figure out this a little better, or Leona can get a little more, um, set at this to be one because she really needs to get into that bush and just scare him off like she literally has zero bush presence right now and that's killing him pretty bad looks like rise is going for the kills maokai gonna oh. no do they see that lee sin is behind them oh god oh god oh <laughs> oh the alka moment when you regret twisted advance in his maokai i've done it before my past i absolutely hate when you like twisted advance and then they flash away and you're just like oh god now i'm stuck uh, counter gank successful yeah very good job when c zools are kind of recognizing that if you right place at the right time um i really hope top lane here i'm getting i'm getting so scared this, this Jax. oh my god Oof. this Jax is just having his own way Oh, she misses the stun on her ultimate. Okay. Oh, shit. And... Oh, that was a good, a very good trap, though. Very good trap, though. Or net, whatever you want to call it. Good escape by Caitlyn on that part, but unfortunately, Jackson just chug his little flask and auto attack his way to victory. Looks like Caesars is trying to counter jungle Maokai, but Maokai sees him and chases him out. Pantheon going to gank top. Maybe. Oh 
my god. Is Tremor gonna get out? The Q? Oh, and he jumps away. Get him. Oh. No, oh, he just doesn't make it. Good roam. Very good job. That's really gonna help top lane kind of get their footing back in. Um, what concerns me the most about that though is that yeah, yeah very gank, good job across the board. Um, kill him gun that got in the kill would have been a lot better for him in theory. Um, cause the fact that Pantheon course this is gonna fall off then. Um, Kaylee needs to get to that end game point. And right now she ain't looking too, too hot. But her CS is way ahead of Ashes though, which is nice. So, can't really complain too much. Ooh, Ryze and Maokai going top. Are they gonna make it out in time? I think they should both be okay. Oh. Ooh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryze and Ry and Ry waves his hand back and forth. Just to say hello as he's walking away. The cage just misses. Poor guy. Poor guy. Uh, you missed bottom lane. Nasus used his ult to try and get on Lulu. Withered Lulu, but Lulu, of course, didn't get low enough for a kill. Yeah. Uh, Nasus needs, needs a farm. He has no kill potential with teleport. And he has no ghost. So, you really can't chase somebody down. He just... He needs a farm. Yeah, he has absolutely no mobility. Has to get that warmog. That's important to him right now. Oh, Lee Sin coming. Oh, here we go. Lee Sin coming in. Probably gonna be a dead ash here. Oh, never mind. Good ult by Lulu so far. Oh, Lulu though. Oh, the bunny though. Is the bunny enough? Oh, Looks like they can get out of this one again. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh oh, and Mio Maokai is here. Oh, the Maokai coming bottom. Are they going back in? No. Honestly, I'd advise against it, because Ash is oom. Ash actually has uh, trouble managing her mana. She actually ulted top for no reason. I saw that before. Oh, is Rez, Rez going oh, down? Pantheon just literally broom sweeping through. Man, he might try to swing top after this. Oh, that'd be really good. Looks like he's going for a tower dive. God. They really need to push the top lane in up now, though. They really, like... Oh my god, but Tremor just has so much. Oh no, he decides against it. They can't push quickly enough. Oh no, Pan. Is he gonna sit there? Is his ult up? Oh, his ult up. And they try to ult in. He might ult in. He, his ult's up. He's sitting there because he's not sure. Last time Tremor had actually warded that bush behind the the tower. Oof. Pantheon 5 and 1 right now. That is pretty scary. That's what we want to be as Pantheon. So it worked out really well for him. I'm actually surprised that they have not continuously forming gank top. Especially, like, since mid is so out of the game right now. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times, too, you know, it, when it, it, you, just want, you want to gank, you want to always go for the sure thing. I mean, if you spend so much resources in trying to gank a lane that you're unsure you can kill, I mean, they probably noticed right now that Leona hasn't really been able to land a lot of her moves, that it's kind of hard to... Oh, oh and C still gets the blue steal. Oh. Ooh. Okay, he's he's not happy with that. You can tell he's mad. He's like, mm. you, you can see Okay, going for the yank oh, top. The hits the trap. <laughs> he's having a bad day. Oh, poor guy. Looks like he's gonna go help Rise mid. Uh, poor Rise is just he needs to. Oh, I don't know what they would do right now. It's hard. And it is so ahead right now, doing so much damage. Oh man, he's just ripping through that tree. Oh, just boy. tearing the bark off. Tearing the bark off. Oh, actually, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> this is actually starting to farm back really, really well. I don't know if Shimmer is missing some CS or Top is doing some work, but he's only uh, 10 CS behind uh, Jax now. So, um, good job. Uh, he has actually been. He's been consistently 10 behind. And Ash has been consistently 10 behind, although she's falling to about 20 behind. Yeah. Not sure if it's because Lulu's too aggressive and she's trying to follow up. Yeah, hey, Ashley needs to be farming right now. And, and yeah, she is definitely trying to kill this Nasus that is just a little too tanky for her now. Not really sure why, I'm probably going to get a kill this at all, so kind of a waste of an ultimate there. Nasus needs to get the fact that he needs us just to farm. That's so much more important right now than getting a kill. It's actually really bad now. Nasus could potentially die here. His ultimate will wear off here very soon. 
Oh, but of course Ash has Oom though, unfortunately. She's... I don't know if she's been leaving her Q on too much or spamming W at, at inopportune times, but... Maokai failed game. I think she's just Pantheon. over spamming W. Yeah. Pantheon looking to go bottom, but decides to go against it. It's gonna be instead. We do have... Yeah. Mr. Oh, top lane. It's another trap. He is just eating the cupcakes like they're free. It's like when you go to Krispy Kreme, and then it's like, you know, hey, free donut sign comes on, but by donuts are cupcakes. <laughs> oh, the ride's going gank bottom though, but does not get a kill off that at all. Push Ness is off though, but Ness does have TP, so I mean, it's kind of like a, it's an okay roam, but doesn't really do a whole lot for the team. Oh, Pantheon gonna jump. Oh, Pantheon in. jumping bottom. Will yeah, Lulu up. alter? Yep. Oh. Nah, this Pantheon is just painful right now. He did, and she's moved as well. Probably. Oh, not enough. Is she gonna shield? Oh no. Shield is not up. Oh, this Pantheon is just the terror squad. He doesn't even have Black Cleaver yet, and he can probably buy it right now. I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, he should be able to now. No, no, he's about, he's about, he's doing a gold sword. Oh my god. Is he really gonna stay for this? Oh my god. Is he really gonna stay? Oh, I feel like they could've gone on that. The W hop, and then Lee Sing can jump right to it. Oh, I mean, that is a dead tree. Oh, tree. Oh no, Maokai, that is a dead tree. Oh no. Oh no, Rise. Oh god. Ooh, good arrow though. Oh, maybe. The arrow. Oh, oh. oh not enough. He just does not do enough damage. Yeah. Not even okay, he oh, Nasus! Oh, He's getting kited! The tunnel vision by Ryze! Tremor just having his way with Caitlyn. Ah, but he doesn't stand close enough for tower range. Oh my god. Oh, he does have his cutlass now. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to knock him out of lane. Oof. Caitlyn's be really careful. She has no pots, no vamp scepter yet. That's really bad. It looks like they're trying to push him out of lane with that ultimate. He's just gonna heal that right up. It would've been a little better if Leona had put her passive on, so they could've gotten the extra bonus damage, but... Still on top. He really, I mean, they had to really figure out a way. Um, actually, he's really not going... Jack's sent too far ahead, honestly. This is actually going really, 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 really good for purple team. Uh, just the late game potential, though. Even if Ryze is dying much right now, if Ryze can get to that late game spot, man, like, the team right now looks really good purple side still. Oh. Ooh, Tremor flashes the stun. Oh, oh, and, the and tries to go for that Caitlyn kill. <laughs> oh, the Cutlass. He might be oh, wow. Oh, and the good ward. And, and the Jax jump. <laughs> this is the oh, <laughs> oh my god. This is the goddamn circus top lane. Oh, Panda jumping mid here. Oh, run, rise, run. Ooh, no, that's poor mid though. Wow, poor mid, holy shit. Guess they wanna give Nats the ability to free farm. Guess they okay, thanks guys. Oh, and the miss Ash it with the Looks like Ash misses her own. Flash though too. I hope that they hit that cool that countdown on it now. That, that, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh so man. It's a free kill on Rise. <laughs> Pantheon just doesn't even care. Oh, Caesar's with the counter jungling. He's going in on Maokai. He's going in hot. He's leaving. Okay, he's like, oh, that's it. <laughs> that's hot he's like, peace. Peace, bro. How's it going? I'm surprised none of them have gone for that dragon. Especially with the control mid and just... And Nash just walks up the head oh. and says, Have a good day, buddy. See you later. Oh my god. Nash just He's just like, Peace, I have mercs. You can't kite me that well anymore. Oh, sorry, buddy. You're a, you're a big old bunny now. So if you if you bunny a Cho'Gath that's at full fee stacks, will he just be a huge bunny? He is. Oh, and Bubbles is gonna be dead, unfortunately. Sorry, Bubble, we love you. Oh, that was a really good ult, though. He might actually be able to leave. Bubbles just saves the ult for himself. Oh, Bubble 
Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, he misses! He misses the Glitterlands Onassis! But Rise cleans up! Oh my god! gives him the double kill! That kiting on Lulu was outstanding. Great job there, Bobalicious. Oh my god. I'm proud of that, Lulu. Uh oh, here goes Pantheon, though, man mode. Is he gonna blow up quite easily? Potentially. Oh, but it'd be a little too ham, though. Oh, oh Maokai with the very, very awesome ultimate mitigates that damage. Oh my god. Ryze just literally got back in the game. He's got three kills in a row. So much free gold. He's gonna walk back into after this next buy and just be so so powerful. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping he goes for that tankiness. I'm surprised he didn't go for what is it, Frozen Heart usually. He might do they still buy that? Yeah, um Frozen generally with Rise now, um you do Frozen Heart if they're really heavy on AD and they are, so I really hope he picks up Frozen uh Frozen Heart. Unless Maokai plans to do it, then he can pick up Frozen Fist, which also is really, really good in Rise right now. Um, uh, I probably wouldn't recommend, in generally also RA is really really nice in him, but I don't think he's not doing well enough to, to be able to pick up the ROA. Oh, so he's missed the Q though. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I hesitate at his items just because he's so indecisive with what he wants to finish building. That, that ROA is just so late. At 21 minutes, he does not have the rest of the components for it. Yeah. I still apply build it anyway though, for the simple factor that it's, you know, I think it's only another 860 plus, uh, it's like another 1400 gold I think, and he has the money for it, he needs to buy it like yesterday though. Yeah. Um, he needs to get the stack start rolling. Um, what I'm most worried about is just the fact that, you know, they do get a frozen heart, there's so much AD damage uh, on the purple team side, it's just all AD damage, it's all AD. Uh, that Frozen Heart's gonna be so huge for team fights, and I feel like he'll probably recognize that. Um, the item was so popular on Rise before he Frozen Fist came out, um, that they'll, he'll probably fall back to that. I mean, the Fist isn't a bad option, but then it means Maokai needs to absolutely rush Frozen Heart. Yeah, definitely. I mean, had I been playing in this game, I would have pushed for a rush of a Frozen Heart, and just, because they're actually falling behind now, I think they should start grouping up. What a terror. Oh my god. I don't oh, think he's gonna kill her. Oh, be enough. Oh, good. oh, I think he's gonna get her. Oh! He gets her. oh. Ash just does not kite enough. No. Not, not when he has the Merc treads. Oh, top lane! Oh, top lane. The Pantheon's jumping in. Oh my god, Tremor is just gone. Oh god, is this, no Tremor's doing his best to kite. <laughs> he just, <laughs> he just, he just jukes <laughs> everything. <laughs> God, this is not good enough. Oh, okay. Lulu makes it out, though. Uh, I, I hesitate at that Lulu ultimate. I think she should have saved it. I think they're more focused on killing Jax, so she should have saved that ultimate to possibly give him a little more health to get out of that. Yeah. I feel like, though, he was already, already so far in, though, that he... He, he was. He shouldn't have gotten out. There, if he would have gotten out, even, like, you know, it's kind of hard to say, of course, because really don't know until it actually happens, but, yeah, I just... Looks like Ryze is starting to trade evenly with Pantheon now. His ultimate healing him back up. Yeah. God, Ryze needs to go back though. The tower will go down. No, Ryze needs to go back. He needs to buy a bit of the big item here. So it looks like blue team is down three turrets and uh, they did take dragon. Around 4k gold into Pro Team. So Pro Team is right where they need to be. They have a lot of mid game champions and really only like one or two late game. So uh, they really need to make. Yeah, I am. I am very excited for for Blue Team late game. I think they're really going to pick up. Yeah. I mean, Maokai ganks never really ever fall off, which is nice. And Jax can be zero and ten, but he gets like four items, and then now he's a god. Um, yeah. Yep. And Jax really isn't doing that terribly either. He's still hanging in there, about 15 CS ahead of Nasus. Ash is, however, what, oh, almost 50 under Caitlyn, yeah. Yeah. with no kills yeah, or assists. Over, over Jax right now, but the big upset though is that Caitlyn has about 1,400 gold um, over uh, over Ash. Ash is in a really rough spot right now. 
Um, I really hope. Oh god, and here goes Nats again! Oh, some really good play by Tremor Top. Big ol' fight mid, though. Oh, Ryzen. Oh, is Tremor gonna get Leona? Does not. Oh, very close. Yeah, double kill for purple team mid there. Oh, man. They really... Oh! That play top was amazing. I don't know if you saw it, but Leona um, eat into Jax when he was about 200 HP, and he actually healed up and bursted her down instead. Very good. Very good. Very good job on Jax. Looks like Pantheon's going in. Pantheon with no HP. Oh my God, he is trying to go. He's going to oh, what is? Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Tremor is not happy about that. You can just you can just feel the increase in the cod piece on Pantheon from this far away. I mean, you can just feel it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Call him Mantheon from now on. Somewhere Pantheon. It's Mantheon. Oh, okay. Well, right now the score looks a little deceiving. Um only now my 4k though, blue team is still in this. Uh they just need Jax to be with the team, the next team fight. Um, I know you mentioned this before, but there's a, there's a team fight mid that came out, and Ash just literally just, literally just ran into the lane, ghosted, oh, not ghosted but kind of just like walked up to Ash and pretty much almost knocked her out of the fight. Um, and then Pantheon Lee Sin just pretty much just manhandled a couple people as well. So, um, really good job on that, just that insane kind of front line that they have for Caitlyn. Um, you know, Caitlyn wasn't really necessarily there. Um, it's showing that come team fights, then both teams are going to be really solid, but. It's gonna boil down to for the uh, blue team how well can Tremor you know assassinate Kaylin and how long can Kaylin stay alive purple team so we'll see how that pile pans out here a sec. Looks like Pantheon picked up a Warmog straight up. He's gonna be very very tanky. Oh Although Jax also has a Warmog and a Blade of the Ruin King. We have, we have an Ash here on Tenasis though, but he does have Merc treads. Nowhere to really walk though, unfortunately. So oh he finally walked. He did have Wither down. Oh my God! It just Everyone in their oh, Pantheon from behind! Oh, God. Oh, that is a dead ass. The ass raping! Oh my God, this Nats is still hanging in there right now. Oh, so close though, but Pantheon. Oh, Rise picks it up. Are they gonna turn around and kill Pantheon in time? Let him, let him kill their whole team. Oh my God. Bye, Lulu. Bye. -bye. Oh my God. It's worth it. It's worth it. I don't even know. Oh my God. The, the best up. Oh, the flash. Okay, well. It's not gonna be in range. Oh, Lulu, is she gonna... That was very smart on Maokai, though. Uh, he didn't have his flash to get out. But yeah. He did uh, at least give it to where Ryze was able to least damage from where he was standing then. So, good job on that part. Unfortunately, Caesar saw that moment, though, and went right over and went on to Ryze to push him away. So, uh, good play on Purple Team side. It was a really good fight in their favor. Nasus just literally lasted forever. And he's not even that tanky. All he has really has an Aegis. Um, it's only you're gonna get better for, for that team. Um, I'm... I'm a little worried at first for the Nats' pick then, but uh, once they're just getting those, those big items, uh, he's going to be able to walk into the entire team and not really care. Kind of laugh primarily. Caitlyn picking up the red buff. Can I help her kite Jax? I mean, I'm not really a big fan of that on Caitlyn, like, uh, as an early item. I understand his mentality behind it, he wants to try to stay alive and be able to attack in fights, but he needs to be doing big enough damage, and unfortunately, without getting those crit procs then, it's not really going to be noticeable. Um, especially with the headshot. I do, I do like the Fuhrer pick though, he, it, Fuhrer lets you kite backwards very very well um, on, on a lot of long range ADs. He's constantly going to get that nice little burst of move speed. Um, so good pick up on that part. Uh, I still, f I, I don't know. It's really worried to see how well they can keep Tremor off him because he's obviously been able to still get past uh, Leona, who has a ridiculous amount of CC as it is. So uh, we'll see. The Pyrene had a Bounder Dragon now. Um, it's a free buff, of a, from, you know, a free uh, uh, projective they can take. Um, they might try to also ward Baron here on the blue side. And both teams seem kind of almost worried to go in. It looks like purple is hovering around to ensure Pantheon gets blue. They're probably going to take a free dragon. Yeah, no one not in position to contest. To really stop him there. Was very good at, at oh, Tremor's coming down. Yeah. Oh, good ash arrow. 
They're gonna try and engage. Oh, Maokai coming from behind! Oh, Tremor already making it to the fight. Is he going to clean up? Is his team going to support him? Oh my god, and the man drop from literally two seconds away. Oh my goodness. Oh. Now he gets the Nasus. Pantheon and Lily to 3v1 the team. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Oh, this is good. Trevor is just fighting through right now. Oh my god. He might actually just kill Leona here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Though that was a pentakill. A pentakill. <laughs> pentakill! No one in chat. No one in all chat with the pentakill. Oh my god, why is pentakill! They're all chat spam. I'm confused. My, my brain hurts. I just want to type in pentakill. Oh, we can't even do it right now. I'm so sad. Oh my god. Pantheon. These kids are such noobs. Oh god, Pantheon just doing so much damage. Now, it would have been smarter of him to peel off and try to help Caitlyn then, but he did just literally 3v1 at one point and then kind of, you know, walked back around. Uh, I really thought you yeah, I'm unsure about that that Mantheon jump from like two centimeters away. I don't know if that was to scare people off or to slow them down. I think he would have done more damage in that period of time oh, rather absolutely. than jumping. Absolutely. I mean, the nice thing is though, the close people that he hits, I mean, it, it does a, a thousand uh, magic damage though if they, if they center him and 500 at the edge. So it's not like it's a bad damage move and they were grouped up. He did hit, hit three people with it. So. It's a good idea, but he's got so much damage right now that his spears can probably hit somebody for, let's see, uh, four, five, yeah, probably 500, 500 true damage to any of the squishies, so, um, not too shabby on that point, but, uh, overall, good fight, purple team, Pantheon getting the unbelievable panel kill, um, I feel like it would've been a lot better if had he been kind of peeling Jax off, because Caitlyn did a good job staying away for a long time, um, she messed up a little bit at the end though, where she decided to uh, kind of all type from the bush. She could get walking away, uh, kite him longer, but it worked out. I mean, in the end, it was still a uh, still win, still worth. Oh, blue team going for the desperate Baron. Purple team has no wards down. Oh, they do have a ward down. It's not a bad choice to try. Oh, Pantheon away. Pantheon jumping. He probably should have canceled the jump on him. Oh, he has an oracles as well. They're going to start Baron. They see Ash bottom. Yep, not a bad choice. And Nats is there too, so. Yeah, Optus needs to get in, 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 the, in the back of oh, there. Okay, good. Okay, addition in. Tremor going in. Stuns the Pantheon right now. Looks focused. like Tremor's gonna try and duel this Pantheon. They're all sitting in Maokai's ultimate. Yeah. Oh, Tremor dropping very quickly. Oh, he, he jukes the Nasus and gets out. Unstoppable. 23 kills on a single champion. Unbelievable. Oh, and Seasuals picks up the kill. Like, alright man. It's a good talk. Looks like they forced them to peel off Baron temporarily. They can probably still do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, easy. It's unbelievably easy to kill Baron with, with, with Nasa seeing this far ahead anyways right now. Nasus Q's right now are probably hitting for hopefully not too shabby around 200 damage. So I'm surprised though. Blue team's hanging in there. They're only behind about huh? oh they're they're behind 10k, but all of the kills that purple team has are on people that don't have very much value when they die. Except they. They literally tried to go on Pantheon that fight and couldn't even kill him. So, like, there was. Yeah, that was very unsuccessful. And then they realized that it was not worth their time, so they peeled off. But in the process of them peeling off, he just turned back into the fight and then killed two people. So, it's just not looking good for the team right now. Uh, they really need to, to focus one target. Um, 
and there haven't been very many good team fights for him. Ash doesn't really have to hit any any worth it ultimate. She had a, a really good arrow to kind of stop Pantheon right away, but not enough to really follow up, unfortunately. So there's still a good possibility of uh, blue team winning, but it has to be a really good catch, though. But I mean, Pantheon is just so tanky right now and has so much damage. He's sitting on yeah 350 attack damage right now. That's uh it's gonna hurt. And his arm pen is at yeah 40 percent. So. Yeah, he is uh, going to be doing some murdering. And he has 4k hit points. Oh my god, he is literally a walking battle tank right now. This this guy is just... It's pretty much a sub bro moment right now. And I am very worried for Blue Team. Blue Team kind of going around. No jungle. Oh, yeah, they're very worried right now. Pan has been using his jump for pretty good fights so far. He really hasn't done any, any useless jump, which is very good. Uh, making use of that pandemic is really important to do. Um, they're gonna swing by. Yeah, it looks like purple team's oh, throwing please, down oh, wards oh, in the please, lower jungle. Please. Oh, pandemic gonna jump. Oh, he's gonna really jump. Oh, Ruru, Ru, Ru, you're so dead. Oh, Ru, Ru. oh my goodness, Ash. Oh, this is, this is murder. Absolute murder right now. <laughs> and they're gonna they probably just face tank this tower, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, this Pantheon just doesn't give a fuck. This is definitely League of War Mogs. League of War Mogs right now. Uh, but both these are two two Mogs though, I don't know. Pantheon showing off on Ice's shield is, that's good. Well, it seems like they have War Mogs on the champions that seem to be doing the most work, the most damage. And then that War Mogs on Maokai just trying to make him tankier for late game. Yeah. Since he uh, he does get quite squishy. I feel like one of their biggest f uh, losses right now um, is the team really really needs a. Uh... Oh, well, they're picking up a kill in their own jungle. Oh my god, they found that rise. Said how do you do? Wow. Man, it's just not looking good so far. Uh, I feel like Blue Team really needs lock at the of uh, the Solari. Um, that would be so good against their team right now. Uh, that item can definitely... It gives you the, the armor for who gets it. You can run two or three of them, and that's like easily like four or five hundred damage mitigation for free for pressing a one button. Um, uh, yeah. I would say that's definitely the most cost-efficient item on supports. In personal experience, you get all the stats that you need. Lulu oh, getting caught again. again. Oh, God. We're it's first name. Just because he, he can. Nats is saying hi, I'm a big dog. He's like a tasty treat. So after they eat Lulu, um, their bellies are getting full. Uh, I'm surprised they have not gotten an Aegis or a Bulwark at this point. They really need that that AoE mitigation on top of the Maokai. And the thing is though, I think it wouldn't be as good. I honestly think in the situation it would be a lot better if they did pick up the uh, locket. Just for the simple factor that there's not a lot of magic damage at all coming out of the uh, purple team side. So getting the bulwark wouldn't really do a whole lot for him. Maybe the Aegis definitely. It's still... it... it well maybe not bulwark but an Aegis anyways will give quite a bit of armor to the team. Which I think they really need. Everyone to have war mugs. They need to be the League of War Mugs on the purple team right now. All war mugs, even on loot. Honestly, I think Ash should get a war mugs because she tends to she tends to sit and take melee hits in fights. She doesn't know how to kite. Yep. I mean that's gonna happen. Um, she also has a Thurster rush too. You never want to rush Thurster and Ash. There's never a point where that's a better item than Infinity Edge. You literally waste your passive by not doing getting uh, with Infinity Edge. Lulu gonna get caught again here probably. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god. Close. I, feel like Lulu I saw she bought that oracles. Yeah. I think she's trying to not pop it yeah. until it's important to have it because she knows she's gonna die. <laughs> I feel like she's probably worried. She's probably gonna fall over here. We'll probably see a fight here bottom pretty soon. Um, they have they have mid lane pushing right now. Still too many, and then it's easily going to be. They're just going to try to siege this tower down. They have Kaylin, they have good range, they have traps, they have the initiation, everything they need. Tremor does pull off the clear up mid, um, which is a good time. Kaylin, Kaylin needs to be standing. Oh, God, And there. Pantheon predictably oh, jumping onto the tower, uh, well, making a beeline for. 
is actually a really bad dive right now for purple team. Uh, blue team actually is pulling the Voodoo Yeah. Far. Oh my god. Looking super good for purple Oh, Ash is actually getting quite a bit of damage off. Yeah. It, will she be able to heal? No. Oh, but I think this was too far ahead. Good G. Oh, her still alive though. Optish might be able to lift. Tremor trying to clean up Caitlyn. Rise to pull up the kill. Oh, that was a really, really poor choice on purple team's point. There's no need to dive that at all. They had melee pusher. Oh, God. And blue team with a really, really good turn on that. They lost a tower to them, but they did get four kills, a couple shutdowns. Um, that was just a... a four for one trade. Yeah, really poor choice on, on Pearl Team's part. There's no need to do that at all. They can just sit there and just siege and just siege and let midwave may push. Uh, Jax cannot clear waves fast at all. He has, he has, one, he has a terrible, terrible wave clicking ability. Fortunately, though, Minion... Well, it looks like Caitlyn... Caitlyn steals their red buff, go for the blue buff and runs off. Oh, he's gonna go check potentially, and it should be up still. Yep, and he's gonna go grab it. So, oh, maybe not. Never mind. He's too scared. He's he saw Jax there. He didn't want to go. This game is still surprisingly exciting for how many kills um, are in favor of Purple Team. Um, only, I have about 10k, but we're gonna point a game right now where the, the gold lead isn't as big of a thing. Um, as long as you can kind of properly fight out your, your fights, you'll be fine. Um, I'm really surprised- Oh, Lulu misses the camp! Doesn't see that it's missing. <laughs> I really wish Blue oh. would pick up something tanky, though. He's all raw damage, has no penetration, so... He's literally hitting. He's literally hitting the people who are on his face. So he's hitting Rise and oh. Jax for nothing right now. He Looks like Baron has just spawned and Purple is moving in to gain control. No wards on blue side, so they probably know it's up right now, but they don't need to know that they're not yet. Um, yeah, I think they might just give it. Well, they can see Ash and Rise moving bottom. Once they see Ash bottom, they are definitely going to do Baron. Bot too. Oh, this is bad. Very, very bad. Oh, and they're gonna go for it. I hope they go for it right now. And they are. Yep, that's terrible, terrible, terrible idea. They should never send two bottom around Baron time. That's just never, never good butt. This would be a pretty fast Baron form, honestly. Caitlyn's got a lot of damage. Unfortunately, Caitlyn is still goddamn squishy, but. Oh, them. That Pantheon also has a GA now. Oh my god. <laughs> you thought you killed the battle tank? Just kidding. It's taking raid boss to a new level. Yeah, there's literally two bosses. Oh, here comes the big scary dog. He's going in. <laughs> but that was nothing. Okay, well, you know, he. I almost expected him to just slash dance. Yeah. I mean, he did bark, so not a bad deal there. <laughs> oh, Pantheon, Pantheon jump. jumping in. Jump. Ooh, and Tremor trying to mitigate whatever Pantheon does. Go for Will he get Caitlyn? Oh, I, I oh, he ignites after the cleanse. Oh, my God. Oh, and Lee Sin saves it. So well done there. But they take down the battle tank Pantheon. Oh, but is it too much though? But after Tremor is down, they don't have any damage left. The Zash doesn't do nearly enough damage to kill their tanky front line. It's just bring it up now. She has so much damage. It's just probably a GG at this point. Um, we gotta be careful though. Ryze still does some good damage though. He's definitely ready to party. Ryze neglecting to see the NASA's under 20% HP. Goodness. Got everyone on their team is just so tanky. It's just uh League of Warmogs right now. This is massive creep wave saying hello to the bottom turret too. Oh no, Bubblicious! No, Lulu, please. It's like the inhibitor is going down. Oh my goodness. His blood is just not even carrying at all. But taking all this free rise damage. And they're out of there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this game is just insane. They just cannot finish this game, even with Baron. I am amazed. I do not know how they killed that Pantheon. Uh, I think, I mean, he's 
trying to find, trying to four v one. I mean, it's a little bit bad on his part. He's so far invested that. I mean, I think they made the right call peeling for Caitlyn because they need Caitlyn to take the turret down safely. So that was a good job on uh, um, Nasus and uh, uh, Lisa pulling off to really help out. Because literally, Lisa and Nasus just like. Yeah. So that was a great job on their part. Yeah, they're definitely learning from their mistakes. Nasus getting the frozen heart, so that's going to do a lot of work against both Ash and Jax. Jax's worst enemy is, is frozen heart. It literally cuts his damage almost in half. So what do you think about that Crucible buy on Lulu? I think it's helped him out in a couple fights, definitely, but it's a very difficult item to use on a three minute cooldown. Yeah, it's, I, I love the item for what it does, I just don't like the fact that it's, 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 one, it's one of the longest use cooldowns in the game. Uh, I feel like you're better off just building, you know, honestly building the ages for your team, um, building even the, like a, a start would have been a really good choice. Um, yeah, Zeke's Herald. Yeah, thank you, yeah. The Zeke's have been an uh, outstanding choice for them over this, of that. I know he does really favor the item, but he does oh, he uses it though. The worst thing about Crucible is that if you don't use it, it's such a huge gold investment for an amazing use item, but people forget, forget about it a lot, so. Um, he does make use of it though. Yeah, well, people. People often forget about Locket. I know, sometimes I forget about it, especially when I have it earlier than usual, and I don't expect myself to have it. <laughs> so I just kind of forget it's there. But yeah. she's definitely building a late Aegis, it looks like. So they're gonna try to push me. Or that could be a locket! That could be a locket. They, lock it, they, hurt me. they do have a double Shirelias that... Hmm. So much engaged, so much disengaged. Um, they're gonna try to siege mid here, I mean, top here. They might as well sit top. There's no point in going anywhere else at this point. Um, they could just face tank that, honestly. Nasus can literally just go walk there and face tank it. Or, hell, even Lee, Lee Sin could do it. Um, it's, 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 it's a free tower inhibitor for him. Oh, Ash with the engage. Oh, Pantheon looking to jump again. Instead of actually just walk into the team. Going for Ash, which really is no point going for Ash at all, because there's no damage there at all. He needs to be peeling for Caitlyn right now. Yep. Oh, Caitlyn just Looks out. like Tremor's going in deep for that Caitlyn. Her team peels effectively. Jax is now there now, though. Oh, there's just cleanup. There's so much damage going out. Oh, Nasus lives. Pantheon has 28 kills. I just realized that again. On. Oh, yeah, he does. That was an outstanding. Just took control of the game. Yeah. He roamed effectively. So good job, Pantheon. Doing a good too. Tremor did a good job as well trying to like get that Caitlyn. Um, he realized that Caitlyn was most of the shooting damage. So um, both teams played really, really well. I just I got to that point where just Pantheon picked up so many kills. It was impossible to deal with at the end. Uh, but GG guys, very well done on both sides. Yeah, I feel like after a certain point, the number of kills Pantheon had didn't quite matter. It was the fact that the time spent dead on blue team put them so far behind in items. And then not only that, but they didn't quite itemize effectively against purple team, which is what put them even more behind. Right. The, the Frozen Heart came out, I feel like, at a really rough time. Like he he finished I think he I think he finished his seraphs before he finished the frozen heart, which I mean that was mm -hmm. so much earlier than when it came out at. Um, but you know it comes to playing more. You know you, you have to kind of learn. You know, it rises a hard time with Pantheon as it is, uh, and once you go up that one or two kills, you're you're gonna have a bad time as they say. You're gonna have a bad time. So. Yeah, very enjoyable game overall. Yeah, gotta see a panic kill. You know. Can I record a pen even better? That's a good day. Hell yeah.